First things first here, you want to make sure you're starting with a clean udder. I know her feet aren't that clean, but thankfully that doesn't really matter in this milking situation. Spray out the first few streams of milk. Those have the most bacteria in them. And then you're ready to go. All right, and when you first put that pump on, you may notice that the teat is not being pulled in by the suction. You're not gonna get any milk out this way, so you're gonna to wanna to fiddle with it a little bit until you've got a good seal around the teat and the suction is pulling the teat into the pump. Okay, just like so. You can see the motion of the teat into the pump and you can obviously see the milk flowing into the bottle. Barely here is a first freshener, so she kicks a little bit. Thankfully in this type of situation, she's not putting that dirty foot into a bucket and our milk stays clean. Keep an eye at what's going on because sometimes as the milk flows out, the pressure of the teat being pulled in by the pump lessens and you want to make sure you've got a good seal and suction. You may have to adjust a few times. This shows really well how the teat is being pulled into the pump by the suction. At first the milk is a little bit slow, but when the goat lets down her milk, you can see how much more volume heads into the bottle below. Once milk flow slows down, remove the pump and massage gently to the goat's udder. This can stimulate more milk to be let down. I do this a few times before I consider that I have fully emptied her udder. See, plenty more milk is coming out. In a couple seconds here, you'll hear a squeak as I place my thumb between the udder and the pump to release suction on the teat. This is so we don't damage her teat. I didn't show it here, but you want to make sure that when you're done milking, you dip her teat in a sterile or at least clean water and soap solution to keep her from getting mastitis. Might have to make some cheese today. Oh, bummer.